Okay boys and girls, this video is the third part to the la lazy loading tutorial. I've had so many messages from you guys asking when the third part is out. Okay, um, this is off the cuff. I haven't arranged uh, this video or thought about it. So excuse me, um, one, if it's a bit loud, uh, the video. And number two, if I appear to not know what I'm doing. <laughs> because I've just literally pulled up the template and we're just going to add to it. What I have decided though is the video is going to be in four parts now as I want to add um, to what we're doing after this video. Now before I get into things, the usual plugs, sorry guys, if you haven't already done so, get yourself over to our Discord channel, add yourself, come and introduce yourself, tell us what you're doing with um, your bot life, okay, and also check out the link in the description. Uh, for all the goodies on the botempire.com, the free videos, we also do custom templates, check out the course, etc, etc. Okay guys, the plug is over, let's get on with the goodies of the video. So if you've been following along with the series, you know that we're doing a uh, scraping uh, module for TikTok. Um, I don't know anything about TikTok, guys. All I know is there's a lot of people doing some very funny things, okay? But that's the, not the point of the video, okay? So what we've done so far, we've gone to the trending section of TikTok and we've managed to uh, scrape the users off uh, the trending section, okay? The method that we're using is like using a sledgehammer. It's not the uh, most slickest version, but by the time we've finished, it will be. But Doing it this way, I'm showing you a lot of different uh, things that you can do with Bass, okay? Um, a lot of different tricks that you can use um, with the TikTok bot, but not just on this, you can use it throughout your bot adventures. Also, there's so many sites that are using this lazy loading now, so it's gonna be really useful you learning this. So we've got our counter, we create a list called usernames that's empty, we go into TikTok trending section, we're sleeping for a little while to make sure that it loads, and then we're starting a loop that all this we went through in the last video. So if you're not up to date, check out the two previous videos. And then for each one of the different cards, we're getting the username, the link to their profile. Okay, we're logging out that link so we can make sure the bot's working. It comes on here and shows us. Okay, and then we're pushing uh, on the keyboard. We simulate pushing down the down arrow about five or six times, maybe more, maybe about 10 times. Okay, then we're adding to the counter and we're saying if the counter is under three, so if we have, if doing these steps above has happened less than three times, then increase the counter by one and then start over and scrape again, push down, down, down so we get new profiles and then do it again. And then when we've done this three times, so when it's no longer under three, then we're gonna break and finish the script. So the first thing I want to do is you'll notice that every time that we run this script, it's free or under. So it's only going to do uh, two lots of this function. Okay, um, so it's going to come to the usernames. It's going to scrape them. It's going to press down, 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 down. <laughs> it's going to get new usernames. Okay, and then when it gets to the third time, it's going to stop. But what we're going to do, we're going to come over here and we're going to make a new resource. And we're going to call this how many pages or in other words how many times do we want to use the la lazy loading get more usernames and scrape them okay so i'm going to call my resource how many pages of course make it relevant that makes sense to you and this is going to be a fixed integer or a number in other words and i'm going to say the value can be between one and a hundred you can set these numbers to whatever you want and then going to hit finish and we now have our new resource I'm gonna have to reload, you'll see it's flashing, meaning hey, you've got a new variable, you need to reload. So I'm gonna put four in here. Hit okay and run the bot again. Now what we wanna do is we wanna come down, down here, where it says if loader counter un, um, is under three, we wanna change the under three bit to our resource. So we're gonna change that to how many pages. So what I've done here, guys, is I've, let me just come back, I went a bit fast there. Where it says if uh, loader counter is under three, we just wanna get rid of the under three. This is what we did in the last video, of course. And then change that to load from file, user input or database, or in other words, um, a resource. 
And what resource do we want to use? We want to use the one we just made called how many pages. And then hit OK, hit OK again. Now what it's going to do, it's going to check, it's going to come here and it's going to say if load a counter, the counter that we're using to count how many times we've uh, scrolled down the page is under how many pages or the number that we set here in how many pages then keep going and then when it reaches um, the number that we set in the ver um, in the resource so in my case I think I set it to four did I say four um, then it's going to stop so in other words we have made it so the user or yourself can choose how many times this uh, scraping the username scrolling down um, and then save um, saving the usernames to a list happens okay so that's that so I'm just going to stop it oops okay and save and then I'm going to record again yep I did put four the next thing I want to do guys is as we said in the last video an issue we've got with our script that we're building now is that it comes here it's adding the usernames okay but then it's scrolling down and then it's starting again. It is collecting more usernames, new ones, when the lazy loading uh, finishes, but it's also collecting the old news usernames from the first, first scrape, okay? And that's how lazy load normally works. So we're getting a lot of duplicates, that's what I'm getting at. So what we can do is when we add the elements to the list here, so what we're doing is, remember, we're starting a loop each time, and we're going to each one of the usernames and getting the profile link. So once we've done that to, to the list, what we can do is come here. So we add all the new usernames to the list. And then what we can do is, if I can find it, come to the list option in your toolbox. And then what we can do is, is, um, there should be, <laughs> remove, remove duplicates. Click that. Which list shall we remove the duplicates from? Well, the only list that we have, which is our username list. And that is all you need to do to sort that problem out. So the last thing I want to do in this video is that I want to, after, shall I do it in this video? Yep, I think we've got time, guys. Is once it's um, gone through this combination, um, the, the amount of times that we set in the resource, how many pages, so I put four. So when it's run all through this four times, what I want it to do, and so I can teach you a um, something else that's useful in Bass, okay? Um, like I said as well, guys, this is really the sledgehammer approach to doing this. In the next video, we're gonna slimline this, but it's a good way for me to show you different things that you can do in Bass. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, I'm going to use script logic and I'm going to put for each and I'm going to say for each username in our list, okay? Then what do I want to do? For each username in the list, I want to, So I can leave this, the current data. This is gonna make sense in a minute, guys. So I'm just gonna delete this and I'm going to save. Um, if you can find it. Okay, um, I need the file system. I'm gonna to write to file. Uh, the We're gonna set the path in a minute. In fact, I should do that now. So let me just exit out of here, save. I'm just going to make another resource where to save usernames. You could also save all this data into a database. That's covered in my course. Check that out, guys. Shameless plug. Okay. <laughs> next. And this is going to be lines from file. And just next. And then next in this case. And this is where, as the resource says, where we're going to save the usernames. So save. Come back. Uh, where do we want to save the usernames? Okay, I'm just going to put it, uh, save TikTok. Okay. Oh, no, I need to actually make the file. I should have done this beforehand, guys. Um, okay, new text file. TikTok usernames. One. Okay, fine. Okay. There you go. Now we hit OK. 
and then let's get back to business come back to the script editor okay it's come down here and then for each username I want to present in the log what that uh, username is and then we are going to use file systems write to file where do we want to write the file well to the resource that we just made where to save usernames hit next hit OK and what do we want to add well we want to use the for each data or the the information through this um, alliteration through the list or in other words so it's going to come to the first item in the list the first uh, link profile link is going to save that go to the next one and then save that to the file and so on and so forth okay so the data is the for each data and then you want to click add new ending line symbol and then append so that each user um, URL profile is on a separate line hit OK and boom there you go okay guys so what's happened here let's go from the start okay is that we set the account up okay and then we created an empty uh, list called usernames we go to TikTok to the trending section we wait a few seconds to make sure everything's loaded then we uh, have set a label start of scraping loop okay so that we can go back there after we've done um, our scraping uh, so we, then we've started a loop okay and it's going to get every single one of the profile URLs okay for the different TikTok users it's going to add them to a list okay and it's going to add them to the list called usernames and it's going to remove the duplicates and then it's going to uh, log out each uh, link okay we could actually do it that way around it doesn't matter just a bit neater okay and then after it's done that for each one it's going to get out of that loop and then it's going to press the down arrow about 10 times so that we get new um, usernames and then it's going to check if the amount of times we've done this process of scraping and pushing the down arrow is less than the amount of pay how many uh, is less than the resource how many pages the number that we put in the resource then increase the counter by one and then go back all the way up here and start the scraping again push the down arrows and then do it again until we reach until the counter is the same as how many pages and then it's going to break out of this and then it's going to go to our list and then for each username on that list okay it's going to log out to here so we can make sure it's working okay and then it's going to write that line that profile to the file um, that we put as a resource here we called it where to save usernames okay and then when it's done that for each username and saved it to the file it's going to end the script okay guys this template is going to be in the description take a look at it and in the final part of the series we are going to clean this up so it's a lot smoother a lot faster and more efficient i just wanted to show you this way of doing things so you've learned about loops you learn about um removing duplicates learn about taking the um different usernames from a list or content of a username going over each one logging it out and saving it so you've learned quite a lot guys okay i hope that all makes sense the templates in the video hit me up on discord if you've got any